Here I'm going to show you the best new way to make random numbers in Excel. It is amazing. Look at this beautiful, big, lovely table. I hit F9, it recalculates, and we get new numbers. And this is all with a single formula, a single function. And it is the RAND array function. Let me go ahead, delete this guy, and I'll show you how it works. So type equals RAND, and there we have RAND array. It returns an array of random numbers. But it is really so helpful because RAND gives you the between 0 and 1 random numbers. RAND between gives you the whole numbers, but you only get one, so you have to copy and paste it to make a big table. RAND array lets you do everything in one nice, lovely formula. So here we have a few arguments. Take a look at them. We have rows, columns, min, max, and integer. And this function is available only in the new versions of Excel. I want to make sure I say that. So let's try it out. Let's say I want to go two rows and three columns. Minimum number, let's make it five. Maximum number, let's make it 10. And for an integer, should I allow decimals or not? I'm going to say no decimals. So let's make that true. And close parentheses, hit enter. And this is why it's for new versions of Excel, because it uses this spill feature to basically just spill out into other rows and columns and give you this big, beautiful table of numbers. Hit F9, as I've already showed you, and it updates. We can go and change this last one to false, or just leave it out, and you get the decimals. Same as if you leave it out. Now this is all very nice, but since it is the spill feature, these cells have nothing in them. You can type something in here if you want. Hit enter and you get the spill error because it can't spill out because there's something in this cell. Well, when I make examples for you guys, I want to use all of these cells and freeze them. So I don't want them to keep updating. So when I make a random number, I want to freeze it. And you can't freeze it if you just select this cell up here or you select a subset of the data. You must select the entire table. So Select your random number anywhere in this table, actually. Hit Control A to select all of the data, then Control C, Alt E S V, Enter, and look what we have here hard coded, randomly generated numbers. It is beautiful. So let's make the big table. And by the way, that keyboard shortcut was copy paste special values. I will show it to you one more time and go a little bit more slowly. Let's go ahead and redo this guy, RAND array. All right, this time let's make it eight rows, 10 columns, min 99. This is how I do sales data for you guys. I just usually use the RAND between and copy everything over, or sample sales data. And integer, I'm going to go ahead. I want it to be whole numbers. So there we go. Enter. Oh, it's so nice. Maybe do a few iterations just for fun. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> now, Control A, Control C, Alt E S V, and you see here it has selected values. Then enter or just hit the OK button. Same thing. Now we have, in just a moment, a big table full of randomly generated numbers that we can do whatever we want with. This is maybe my new favorite function, just because I spend so much time making random numbers that it's nice to be able to do it just with a single formula. So the RAND, RAND array formula, it is awesome, and you must start using it in your data set if you have newer versions of Excel.